giving away free, valuable educational content that reflects your area of expertise online is not only a fantastic way to grow your email list, but it's a way to grow your sales and your business. Now, Facebook ads are a fantastic way to do this. However, your graphics matter. Your conversion rates will increase if your graphics are more impressive, if they're more eye-catching. And so one of the things that I like to do is to create Facebook ads using Canva and Smart Mockups. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you would like access to my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even some sock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. Creating the perfect Facebook ad within Canva and Smart Mockups is a three-part process. Number one, we need to create the cover in Canva. Number two, we need to drop that cover into Smart Mockups. And number three, we need to bring that image back into Canva to create the Facebook ad. So first things first, we're going to search under templates, Pinterest graphics. And I really like Pinterest graphics as the cover for our freebies in a Facebook ad. So we'll just click on any of these. But for this example, I really like this one instead, so that's what we'll click on. Remember, when you hover over it, if it is a premium design, it'll say so in the bottom right. Otherwise, in the bottom right, it'll say free. So this is going to be our cover. And if you were designing your cover, if you needed to do anything else, change the text, change the branding, change the image in the back, you would go ahead and do that. And when you're complete, here's what you want to do. You want to copy this link. Now you can also download the image as well, but I want to show you a little trick. So we're going to copy that link and we're going to go over into Smart Mockups. Now if I scroll down, it took me a few pages to get to these samples, but instead of just using magazine graphics where it's by itself and there's a transparent background, I like to use Smart Mockup Mockups that have a person in it or have some other decoration along with it. So for this example, let's see what I think would be a good fit. If the post is about do-it-yourself wedding invitations, we want to try to find an image that a girl would like and use that for the ad. So this particular one is a book We'll go ahead and click one more time. I'm leaning toward this flower one here, but we'll see what other ones they have available. This one actually is pretty cool. So we're gonna click on this. Then what you would do is upload the cover from Canva and you would paste in that link from Canva. Now again, you can also download the image and upload it as well. And so once you do that, Smart Mockups is going to pull your design in and it's going to resize it for the image. So you can see a live preview of what it looks like here. And you can see the Pinterest graphic isn't quite big enough for this area. So what we need to do is zoom in just a bit and adjust accordingly. And so again, what you see over here is a perfect little layout with your graphic on there. So we'll crop and continue. And so now your freebie looks a lot more impressive because it's included within another image. So then we'll click download and we'll do the high version and that's going to save to our desktop. Then we're going to hop back into Canva and we're gonna search for Facebook ads. And so this is going to pull up ad templates. Again, doesn't really matter which one you click on because you can always adjust it or switch your template later. But here is a potential layout and there are more. 
on the left hand side if you continue to scroll. So then we'll upload that image that we created within Smart Mockups. And then we're going to delete this picture of fish and we're going to drop in our image from Smart Mockups. And you want the freebie to be nice and big. So now we're going to make a few slight adjustments to make the ad easier to read. This is transparent, so we're going to pull it so it's a little less transparent. And we could say um, four brides. And you can put whatever language you want on here. And again, you can click and delete what's provided and you can adjust it accordingly. If you had a logo, maybe you'd want to drop a logo down here. But now within a matter of seconds, I did this real time. I did not pause the video. I was able to create a beautiful Facebook ad that advertises my freebie and makes it look a lot more impressive than just cutting out the cover and dropping it in. So I hope you guys found this valuable. I would love to see all the different designs that you create using Canva and Smart Mockups. I've put a link in the description that is going to allow you to create a free Smart Mockups account. And if you choose to upgrade to a paid one after the free trial, feel free to use that code so that you get a discount on that. Now this is also a part of the Canva Create-a-thon. So now I'm going to show you the secret word. Make sure that you save it for later because you will be entered for a chance to win a Squarespace website if you find all 25 words. The secret word is mock-up. Make sure that you write that down and save it if you've not gone back and looked at other videos within the Canva Create-a-thon to find the secret word, I would encourage you to do so. Make sure that you try out Smart Mockups. It is one of my favorite resources to use. I use it for ad graphics all the time and I've even started using it for the backgrounds on my YouTube thumbnails if you've noticed those as well. So feel free to try it. Don't forget the link in the description. And remember, I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, to talk now.